Hello everyone, this is Reza Rad from Radacad and today I'm going to show you a simple trick that you can use to show your measures in a chart without any dimensions. If you use your measures in a, uh, in a visual, in a chart, without any dimension, they look like this, which is not great. I'm going to show you how you can change them to be like that. Let's see how it works. Let me start first by showing you what happens if you have uh, measures or values in one chart without a dimension or without a field that slice and dice that value. So here what happens, I have a table called Fact Internet Sales Table, you can download this file from uh, the link down in the description which is to my blog post. Um, and I have uh, three columns I used here, sales amount, tax amount and uh, total product cost. I use these in two types of charts, uh, clustered column chart and a stacked column chart, which would be kind of similar if you change it to bar chart as well. Uh, I have these three values, but no axis. I don't have any dimension or any field to slice and dice these. I just want to see their values and compare them beside each other uh, in a visual way. So that is why I added them in this visual. Now, uh, you see that this doesn't really look nice. The stacked one is not really useful the clustered one doesn't really look nice i would like to have like labels underneath and some separation how can i do that uh, you can use a disconnected table pattern to do something like this a disconnected table is a table is a separate table that you create there is no relationship between that table and this table and you use that uh, to calculate a measure which can be used in a chart um, I've previously uh, had some articles and videos about that. Uh, you can create this table outside of Power BI. The best practice is to do it outside of Power BI because then every time you want to make a change in the data, you don't need to open Power BI file. Um, but here for simplicity, I created that using the enter data option in the home button enter data option that you see here. I use that uh, to create this. Here you can actually go and create a table, columns and values. What I've done is I've created a table just with um, two columns. A measured column, like what you see here, and uh, a column that I always recommend to add in, uh, in a table like this, which is order, column sort order. This is basically the column that we use to sort the other column. The measure column is basically just the labels. This is the labels of the measures that we have. Uh, and the order is going to be uh, the sort order of that. Uh, the way that you can use this as the sort order of that is to select this column, the measure column, in the column tools, in the sort by column, sort it by the order column. And after you've done, you've done that, make sure that you hide this column, uh, the columns that you use as a sort order of other columns, these are a really good candidate to be hidden in the report view because no one will be using these in the, uh, in the visualization. Uh, now, what I've done is I've created a measure. I've created a DAX measure, really simple measure. It uses two important functions in DAX. One is switch. Uh, which is a conditional expression. It tells whatever this value is, if this value is this, this, or that, based on that, return these respective values. And I've used selected value. Selected value is a function that tells me what value from this column is selected in the visual or it is the filter context of our visual. So a combination of these two, like switch and selected value, will tell me that if the label is sales, it shows the sum of sales. If it is cost, it shows sum of cost. So nothing, nothing really complicated here. And you can use measures instead of these parts, of course. Then I use that in a chart. So here I have a, um, I have a a stacked column chart and I use the measure value as the value part, the measure column as the axis and it shows like this. Uh, you notice that I don't have chart title or the title for the axis or um, y axis or x axis. I have actually removed those. You can enable those if you want to. 
Um, so it looks like this. If you change it to become like a clustered column chart, it is exactly the same because of the way that our calculation works in this scenario. Uh, so it works perfectly fine. Now, if you want these to be like different colors, you can go ahead in the format and change the data color to whatever you want to be. You can turn it to show all and change every one separately. Or alternatively, if you have too many measures and you want to have the ability to change the colors dynamically, what I suggest normally is to create a measure for the color, uh, which can use the same concept of like switch and select the value. Here, instead of having the calculation itself, we have just different colors, which can be the colors like these, or it can be hex uh, color values as well. You can use company colors and things like that. So I use that, and then what I'll what I'll do to use it in my visualization is in the format of the visual under data colors, under this uh, FX. I click on that. This is where you can do conditional formatting anywhere you like. And then when I click on this conditional formatting, I change this format by field value. And then I can choose a value, a field that has these colors in it. In this case, I have that in my measure color, right? So format by the field value and based on the measure color. So as soon as I click on OK, I don't do that because I have like another tab that shows the final result. It looks like this, right? Uh, so pretty simple approach, nothing really complicated. The whole uh, concept is to create a separate table, this connected table pattern we call this, and create a measure or a set of measures using switch and selected value to achieve the result you want. We didn't really add the measure in the axis as the title of this uh, video uh, says that, but it looks that way. So using this trick, we uh, have actually measures showing in a chart like the axis um, using here. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.